Wonderful day to each and every one of you. My name is Jundet from Ivy Prep Education. Welcome to our class. Today, we will be starting with K-Math. Our easy time with math is over. This time, we are going to level up a little bit our math lessons. So are you ready? Let's start. Our lesson for today is about classifying objects. Hmm, what does that mean, teacher? Well, classifying is like identifying or knowing, okay? Simply knowing. How about objects, teacher? Well, if you remember our lesson last semester, you can definitely tell me that you know what is an object, right? Do you remember them? Well, if you don't, don't worry because we are going to review first, okay? So let's say for example, objects that we can see inside the classroom. Okay, so probably these things that I'm going to show you are the things that are always with me whenever I go to your class. First, all right, so do you remember this? Okay, so we have here a dice, okay, or let's say cube, all right? So this is an example of an object. Okay, because I can see it and I can touch it. Okay, another one. Okay, that's better. All right, what is it? Mm -hmm. It's a bell. So a bell is an object. Okay, don't forget that. How about this one? Yes, you are correct if you said this is a pen. So a pen is an object, okay? Now, how do we classify objects? That is the question. To give you more ideas on how to classify objects, let's watch this video about recycling. sure enjoyed lunch today, but look at this mess. We need to clean up. Let's find the trash bin. Wait a minute. There are two different trash bins. And one of them has a picture on it. What do you think it means? I don't know. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's really quite simple. This is called the recycling symbol. Recycling? What does that mean, Mr. Sammy? Recycling is when we take old trash and make it into something new. Can we recycle bananas? No, some trash can't be recycled. These things go into the trash bin. But we can recycle a glass bottle, an aluminum can, a plastic bag, and a magazine. These things go into the recycling bin. And then what happens? The recycling bins go to a special place called the recycling plant. That's where the magic happens. Bottles, cans, plastic, and paper are chopped into tiny bits. Then they are melted or turned into mush. Now they can be used to make new things. That's recycling. Wow, that's amazing. Well, how can we recycle? You can start by putting all of the recyclable trash into the correct bin. Remember, only glass, metal, plastic, and paper can be recycled. I think we need some help. Can you help us sort the trash? 
<laughs> Great! Let's clean up. Where should we put this plastic water bottle? In the trash bin or the recycling bin? You're right! Let's toss it in the recycling bin. Hmm, what about this apple core? Can we recycle it? <laughs> no. Food goes to the trash bin. Do you know where this soda can goes? <sighs> yes, we can recycle metal cans. Let's keep going. We have an eggshell, an empty glass bottle, an old magazine, a plastic bag, and a metal can. Can you help us sort them? We will give you some time to think. But if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you are ready. know that we can recycle glass, metal, plastic, and paper. That's why these things should go into the recycling bin. Can we recycle food? No. The eggshell goes to the trash bin. Wow, you two did a great job. Thanks to you, Mr. Sammy. And thanks to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I hope you learned a lot from the video that you have watched. Now this time, we are going to learn more about the vocabularies that we heard from the video on how to classify objects, okay? First, let's have alike okay so for example we have this one these objects are alike okay they are alike or if we have the bell the bell and this one the sticky note are they still alike no they are different so number one is alike Number two is different, okay? Next, they are different because they are different in shape. So this one is rectangle, but this one is, let's say, round. So they are different in shape, okay? All right. Next is size, okay? So, for example, the cubes and the cube or the dice and the sticky note. Are they the same in size? No, because this one is small and this one is big, all right? Now, Another one, the last one that we heard from that video, I'm sure you heard about it too, was sort. What does that mean? Well, it's like separating sim similar things or different things together. Okay, so for example, Let's sort out the things that I have on my table, okay? So, for example, I have here, okay? Sticky note and the small whiteboard. And I have this one, okay? So, I will have, I have two groups to sort out. I will separate this one because these pens are for writing. While our sticky note and our small whiteboard are to write on, okay? So we have something to write 
and something to write on. So I have sorted out two different things. Okay? All right. Now, your turn to give more examples on how to classify objects. There are more. You just have to make use of your imagination and I will check later. Okay? I want you to answer this. Write your answer inside the box. Now it's time to check your vocabularies. Answer number one and write your answer on the blank provided. We sort it by write your answer. Let's do some exercises. If you have your book, Please answer it with your pencil. If you don't have your book yet, use your fingers as your pen. Listen to the instruction. Number one, trace the dashed marks. Number two, circle the car. Draw an X on the tree. Number three, color the truck red. Color the ball blue. Color the bird yellow. Color the flower purple. Number four, circle the object that is small. Let's have another activity. Are you ready? Listen to my direction. Place some triangles, squares, and some polygons along the grass on the page. Describe the blocks using the words alike and different. Place the pattern blocks that are the same on the tree with the word alike. Place the other pattern blocks on the tree with the word different. Trace and color the blocks. Remember, let's use the corners. Count the corners for us to identify the alikes and difference. That's the tip. Let me give you more practice. Circle the objects that are alike and cross out the object that is different. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Now it's your turn to continue number four, five, and six. Don't forget the instruction. Well done! Congratulations! But wait, there's more! Let's finish our math lesson with a little bit challenging activity. Are you ready? Listen to my instruction and look at the picture carefully. Number one to number two. Look at the objects near the animals. Circle the objects that are alike. Draw an X on each object that is different. Remember, you have to answer number one and number two. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, number three. Point the shirt that is different. Are you pointing it now? Draw the missing part to make it the same to the other shirts. All right, so you have to prepare your pencil or your pen. Draw sleeves on the shirt to make it the same to the other shirts. Wow, that was amazing. We have finished our lesson for today. How was it? I know it was very easy, 
though I know that you also had a difficulty with the speed of our video. So I hope you can have some time to take a look at it again so that when we have our class together, you can answer me perfectly already, okay? Meantime, don't forget, if you have your book already, this is your homework. Okay, so that would be all for today. Thank you so much and see you again next class. Bye-bye.